Hey everybody, Greg Treziak here with Pragmatic Works. Welcome back to another episode in our series all about universal design tips and tricks to uh, help you make your reports much more accessible. What we're gonna talk about today is color contrast and how that can be a really big component that you might be neglecting in your universal reporting design. Let's get into it. So. What I've got for us here is one of my favorite tools. This is the Color Contrast Analyzer. And I want to explain how this tool can help us look and explore what color contrast is. So when it comes to color contrast, what you have is actually in a lot of accessibility requirements, such as the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, guidelines to your level of color contrast. And this is a great rule of thumb in all report design. So here's some of the standards related to that, where a color contrast of three to one, that's okay, it's not very good. You have a 4.5 to one, which is as you age, it's a color contrast that you would look at. And then you have the gold standard, where we want to achieve our goal of seven to one. Well, the thing about this is you could go all the way to 21 to 1 as color contrast. Now, color contrast is essentially the difference between the background color and the text color that you have. These numbers represent the ratio of that contrast. So if you've ever seen in a website something called color high contrast views, that is just upping the level of contrast. With a high contrast, we tend to see things a bit more visible. Let me explain a little bit more in depth. For example, these are a bunch of various background and tech examples. You can see right here that on the left-hand side, we have a whole host of accessible uh, color contrasting. Now, some are better than others, right? There's a reason why the standard is a white uh, background with black text, or in this case here, white text on black background has a very high level of contrast. Same with the blue and white, the black and red is okay, not great. High contrast would be that yellow and black. But on the right hand side, we see we start mixing around with our coloring and the contrast just starts to make this way less viewable. Take a moment to look at the ones on the right. You probably can say you know, for me, that green and red, that yellow and uh, orange really is hard to see. I even have, I'm struggling a bit with that red and dark blue. I'm losing some of the readability. Now you can imagine on the scale of vision, right? People intake the way they perceive color differently. Also with color contrast. What about a light background example? You can see this here where we've got black with white, very high. Purple with white is okay too. Dark blue and even the red is generally okay. Not that perfect goal standard of at least seven to one, but getting there. On the right hand side, you see some common Excel mistakes, common Power BI mistakes. People try to jazz up their reports. They go on in and they say, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it the company blue background with red. And they completely ruin the readability of their report. This is something I want to prevent for you. And that's why I started with this color contrast analyzer. Let me go back to that here and showcase why I love this tool so much. Here is a bunch of resources and links to ways to help you choose colors to have a better color contrast. But I'm a big fan of this color contrast tool because it works really well hand in hand with Power BI and you can already apply it to your reports right now. Let me show you. So. This is what it looks like. Let's actually live it. I'm gonna open up a Power BI report here and let's take a peek at just a sample report. I'm also gonna open up our color contrast analyzer. This is gonna be preset for us to have a foreground color and a background color. So we can see the sample preview is a white background with black text. Now we can edit these all up and it actually gives us an accessibility check according to the web content accessibility guidelines. So if you need to meet those standards in your reporting or in your web design, if this is a Power BI report that is web facing, this is something to keep in mind. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna move this over and I'm gonna open up a Power BI report, just a sample one. 
And this is from just a general demonstration file. Well, we've got in here this sum of sales amount. Let's actually check this out with the color contrast analyzer. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna take this dripping tool so I can actually collect the colors and I'm gonna change the foreground color, the text color, to the very same green we see in the report. So I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna hover over the green area. Ah, right, there we go. So here's the green, a little off to the side just because of the recording software I've got. But, oops, takes a steady hand. Ooh, let me find the right pixel. Perfect, I'm gonna grab that green. We can see that green to white background actually maintains a very low level of contrast. It's as simple as grabbing that. What if they were in reverse? There's actually a flip button in this tool. I could flip them around and you can see it has the same ratio. But what if I went about this and instead I had a different color here? Or maybe I had a different background. Could I check the accessibility of that? Well, I'm actually gonna go in, I'm gonna take this very same visual and let's go ahead and give it a different background color. So I'm gonna go ahead and move out of the screen for a second so we can see the full view. And I'm gonna go and let's grab a background that's a little bit more contrasting. Let's go with a dark background here, right? So we have that dark black with that green. Now this might not be something that I maintain, but just for the sake of color contrasting, let's bring that in. I'm gonna make that green color my text. So let me do that here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip those back. And the background color, I'm gonna grab the very same black we see over there. There we go. And we can see here that now we're at a 7.8 to one. This may not fit this exact theme I have right here. We can play around with this and adjust as needed, especially if we want to make sure we're adapting for our organizational colors. But right out of the gate, you can see that we've got a 7.8 to one color contrast ratio. So we at least are hitting that goal bar. We could get even higher and higher here. And that's our ultimate goal because the more readable our report is, the higher color contrast we are going to maintain. So again, these are some of my favorite tools when it comes to checking on the color contrast. I love this color contrast analyzer. I'll include the link in the description below for you. Make sure you check that out and start thinking about colors and especially color contrast as a way to make your reports just overall much more improved and also maintain our universal design tips and tricks and contrasting. So definitely keep that in mind. Again, this has been Greg with Pragmatic Works bringing you another universal design quick tip. See y'all in the next one.